that was the discussion that you had with the players uh, settling it? Well, you know, like I said before, Kobe can average over 40 a game. There's, there's, I, there's no doubt in my mind about that. Uh, but the, the one thing that we all have to do and have to understand is that, you, you know, to put that type of burden on him, and he probably doesn't think it's a burden, uh, but, but to put that type of burden on him for 66 games and then through, through a playoff run uh, is just tough to do. And I, so I don't want our guys to get to a point where we're relying so much on him that we become ball watchers and we're stagnant offensively. And so uh, we have to figure out, starting with me, ways to get other guys involved, knowing that uh, he's still going to get his shots. I mean, he, 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 you know, he played 37 minutes or 38 minutes and got 22 shots up, you know. And, you know, so he, we'll still find a way to get him the ball, especially down the stretch. But other guys have to make sure that, that they're aggressive uh, when, the, when the ball comes to them at the right time. With the Andrew's production up. tonight, what, to, with Andrew's production, I mean, what, to what degree have you seen his improvement with and they're responding to the double teams and doing more. Uh, you know, he's, it, it's amazing because, you know, to, to, to be a young guy and get double teamed for the first time and learn as quickly as he's learning, whew, it's hard to do. Usually it takes guys a couple of years to really figure out how to be patient enough and how to beat that double team. But uh, he, every, every game it seems like he's doing a little bit better job here with it, a little bit better job there with it. And, and uh, I thought he was good tonight. And, you know, obviously I need to go back and watch the tape, but I, I, I thought he was good tonight responding to the double team. When you talk about the offense being dis discombobulated, do you think the guys all comprehend the offense and it just comes out of the execution? Or do you think they're still learning? No, they're still learning. Like, for instance, I put in two new plays, three new plays yesterday and plays that we hadn't worked on obviously all year and they were just put in yesterday. And when I put them in, we basically just walked through them and then we kind of scripted them today. So, I, and I put them in because uh, I feel like they're better for our team than what, we're, than what we've been doing. And so uh, that, that, that may continue to happen, you know, from time to time until I, I, I put my thumb on it and I have a great feel not only for where Kobe needs the ball, but where everybody else needs the ball to be effective. So uh, part of it is, is me, part of it is me playing different combinations, and, and then but you know part of it is, is those guys uh, trying to learn something new on the fly. Because uh, you know this is our what our 15th game, okay, and we have not had one live contact practice yet, and so everything that we're doing. Uh, or everything that we're trying to work out uh, has been during the games on the fly. And sometimes I'll go into a game uh, and I'll say, you know what, we're going to try this coverage or we're going to try this and let's see how it works because we need to practice. We need to practice live against other bodies so that short term we sacrifice some things and not for wood, hopefully not too many losses, but short term we sacrifice some things so that in the long term, come playoff time, we're right where we need to be. Uh, but it's, that's a tough thing to swallow, though, uh, to, to sometimes go through some tough losses when you feel like you could have won if you would have just played D and, and given Kobe the ball at times. Coach, what's your philosophy in that final possession defensively where you're up three, they have an opportunity to get a three, you could have possibly had to like meta wrap Vince up with a bear hug or something yeah. before he got the shot off. Was there any instruction to do that? If nope. You, rather than take a shot? Yeah, I, I, you know, I, no, yeah, because I, I mean, I, 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 you know, whether it's wrong or right, you know, people have this debate all the time. Myself and Reggie Miller, <laughs> one day I'll tell you a story about uh, when I coached Reggie in Indiana, I was a defensive coordinator, but we used to go at it on this play. Obviously, he likes to foul, I don't. Uh, but uh, I, I just, you know, I, I believe in our defense and, you know, if you put a guy in a situation like that, maybe he fouls a man, he scores the bucket, and now they win the game, and you second guess it, and, as opposed to just making him make a tough shot. Because the worst thing that can happen is he makes it, and now uh, we may have one more shot at it because we had one time out, or or we go into overtime. So uh, my philosophy in that situation, most times, is not to foul, depending on how much time is on the clock and whether the other team has timeouts or not. How would you describe how defensively? You know, I thought he was pretty good. You, you know, you're, you're not going to stop Dirk Nowitzki. 
You know, he's, he's going to get his points because they go to him. They go to him a lot. And not only do they go to him, they, they run a lot of different actions for him, whether it's post-up, pick and roll, pin downs, rip screens, DHOs. I mean, they run a lot of action for Dirk Nowitzki. And then they got a lot of shooters around him. So uh, that, that's a tough assignment, especially where they put him right at that free throw line or nail area that we call. And, and you gotta you got to man up a lot of times and, and play that guy. And, and I thought uh, Powell uh, did a nice job with, with the combination of Josh McRoberts. They just tried to make him work for his shots, which, which he did. But, uh, you, you know, you're not stopping him. Does he have the energy right now to be effective on both sides at the same time? Who's that, Powell? Uh, I hope so. But, it, it, you know, what I have ex experienced at times is sometimes, you know, when I, at least in Cleveland, when we brought guys in, and we demanded as much as we demanded on the defense end of the floor. Uh, sometimes it didn't, didn't seem like they could shoot the ball as well. And so I don't know if it's if it was the energy that they uh, used up uh, defensively that took their legs a little bit offensively or whatnot. So I, I, I don't know. It's, a, it's an interesting question. It's an interesting debate. Uh, but, but he did a well of a job for us uh, defensively uh, on uh, dirt. 15 games in, have you been able to get enough of a gauge to see how Andrew's progression matches up with you know, just the rest of the league with their centers? Uh, no, not really, because I haven't really followed the rest of the league. But uh, uh, Andrew's been playing well for us, and uh, we have to keep working with him. We have to keep helping him un being able to understand and read double teams. And, and uh, he's got to keep working to continue to get in better shape because the the better the shape that he's in, that's the longer he can play, and that's the more effective he'll be offensively because now he'll be able to rim run and sit down at that rim, and we can throw the ball into him before the double team comes.